Okay, so for this one, they want us to make an equation for theta in terms of x. So that means we need to have some x variables over here. And they're telling us to achieve that with inverse trig functions. Okay, so uh, one thing I could do, and then I'll go kind of backwards, although you don't normally need to do this step, is I could just make an equation and say the sine from this angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, this is what we've been doing for a while. But now we're saying, what if I want to solve this for theta? Well, you can do that by doing inverse sine. Inverse sine of sine of theta would just be theta. And if I'm taking the inverse sine of this side, I would have to take the inverse sine of that side. And so there's our answer. Here is my equation for theta in terms of an inverse trig function.